Hello everyone, my name is John O'Leary and I'm an author, illustrator and paper engineer. I'll be coming to your school very soon and we're going to create pop-up books together. So usually when I come to a school I'll do an assembly with everybody but because of the lockdown we can't do that this time. So instead I'm making you this video. So let me tell you a little bit about my work. I create picture books and often these will also be pop-up books. So I have an example of one here. This is Pirate Treasure Hunt with a fold-out map and uh, the two characters journey through different scenes to get to the treasure. Another example is Motor Mouse, which is a book of 3D mazes. So that's also known as a concept or novelty book. So what I mean by concept is a book that has some sort of um, puzzle solving or educational slant to it. The Great Baudini's Optical Illusions incorporates a series of creatures which are also optical illusions. And at the very end, you have a fold-out section on how each optical illusion works. Another example is It's Magic. This one folds out from the middle and downwards to create a stage. The main character is Carlos the Magician and on each page we have a self working magic trick and the banter also incorporates how the trick works so you can put on your own show for example this one here you look at the cards you choose the chameleon card fold it back then you ask your audience to put the paper clip on the chameleon card. They'll choose the card in the middle, which I'll do now. And then you ask them, are you sure that's the one you want to choose? They'll say, yes, absolutely. And then you turn it over and abracadabra, it's gone right to the end on the end card. More recently, I've been working on longer texts, which deal with more emotional issues so it's a different style of illustration and it's a different type of book. Next how do I develop my ideas? Well when I'm developing the character, the plot, the setting I'll be playing around with initial ideas. I'll be doing rough drawings, I'll be playing around with the words, I'll be trying to figure out the right style for that particular story. And also I'll be playing around with rough ideas for pop-ups as well, if it's a pop-up book. Um, so there's a lot of experimentation and everything is very rough to begin with and then gradually it becomes more and more finished till at the end I've got the finished artwork, I've got the final text and I've got the final pop-up templates that get sent to the printer. It's okay to make mistakes. In fact, I don't call them mistakes. I call them things that you learn from. Mistakes can be very useful. Sometimes they give you new ideas. When something goes wrong, you think, oh, hang on a minute, that's quite a good idea. I could do it that way. I'm often asked, where do you get your ideas from? The real answer is, I get my ideas from anywhere and everywhere. So it might be something I've heard somebody say. It might be a person I've met. It could be an idea for a character. Uh, it could be a place that I've been to. It gives me an idea for a setting and then I want to create a story around it. It could be a problem, a journey something you've seen, it could be a visual idea, it could be something made up, it could be something based on reality. 
And the important thing is to leave the space for the ideas to come. And one way of doing that is to make time to daydream. The other thing I like to talk about is using your skills in different and challenging ways. For example, because I'm a paper engineer or creative of pop-ups for picture books, I thought, well, if I create pop-ups for picture books, would I be able to create giant pop-ups? So that's what I did. I co-created a children's theatre production for Half Moon Theatre where I designed giant pop-up books as part of the set. In the side. Oh. And this <laughs> I also created a giant moving pop-up bird for the High Sun Camp and I worked with families in St Albans Museum to create giant pop-ups as part of an artist in residence program. I want to finish by showing you some of the smaller constructions from the children's theatre show. I look forward to coming to your school and to working with you all very soon. Until then, bye bye.